11th, July 2010 will forever be etched in the minds of many Ugandans, but especially in those of relatives and victims of the twin bomb blasts at Chedunda Rugby Grounds and the Ethiopian restaurant in Kabalagala that left 78 dead and scores injured. Robert Semuju Jr. is a survivor of the blast that hit football fans at Chadondo Rugby Grounds. The former technician with Silk Events Company was part of the team that had organized the screening of the final match of World Cup 2010 at Lugogo. But he had also stayed behind to watch because of his love for football. We were busy enjoying the match. And incidentally, I didn't know what followed. Coming back to life, I found myself in Mulago. I did ask that, how is the match, how, has the match ended? Something of that kind. And asking for the match to end, that was like after something like two weeks. In fact, he says he spent 15 hours in the mortuary before he was discovered still alive. He could have cheated death. But Junior, as is fondly known among his peers, leaped away with major injuries to his skull that have left him disabled. This skull tend to affect one part of my, the one side of my, of my body, whereby it's like I lost a hand, though you see it there, but it's like a decoration on my body because it can't do anything for me. Even you say I have two legs, but walking is also another difficulty. It is not just the disability. Semuju says since the fateful day, his life turned upside down in all spheres. The father of three did not only lose his job, but his wife left him as well. I was able to look after my family, of which I can't do right now. And if, even if it were you, can you stay with a man who, can, who can't even uh, get you something to eat in the house? If you are with him, what will you eat? She said it to pack and, and go. So I'm living a life which is, uh, I, I can say, miserable life. Semuju now lives with his mother's friend in the outskirts of Kampala. With no job, he says survival is hard. I'm living on now well wishes. If at all I, I met you on the way and you happen to see me, you know, and somewhere, somehow a well wisher with a, a sympathetic heart can get you 5,000. The survivor says doctors recommended further specialized operations to rectify his disability so he can work again. However, it is very costly. 38,000 US dollars, which I need to be active and do, and do my work, regaining my legs so that I can walk properly like I used to do. And that comes from sweat from the skull, whereby it's direct from the brain that I need to be operated on the, on the head, on the skull. Close to six years later, the masterminds of the attack have been convicted, but Semujo feels no relief. If you rule and say that these people are going to be in, uh, they are going to be given life sentence, now how am, I going, how, how am I gaining in that life sentence of theirs, since I'm still st 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 suffering? I think even if they judge them accordingly, they should again come back to look into us. You get me? And then at least they give us a compensation. Semujo claims that since the attack, the government only gave him 3 million shillings to cater for hospital bills. He hopes the government could do more to improve the quality of life of survivors like him. Gertrude Tumusime with Kwari, NTV.